Hey, it's Greg Otten here with MaritimeGardening.com and I'm out here picking some beans and I thought I'd just talk about beans, uh, how I plant them, how I order the, the planting, and the types of uh, varieties I plant and so forth, just to give you a sense of how, at least in my experience, what's the best way to get the most out of your garden for the least amount of work using the least amount of space. So I just picked beans from this garden right here. Um, and I got this much, right? And uh, you know, these bowls are maybe a, a, foot, ac a foot across, uh, 30 centimeters, 12, 12 inches. Uh, this garden here is maybe uh, three or four feet wide and about uh, 10 or 11 feet long. Uh, and I'm getting this amount of beans, oh, maybe every uh, two or three days, right? So I can barely keep up with them. But let me just talk about how I got in a position to, to get that sort of productivity out of my garden. I got uh, one, two, three places I've planted beans. I got them jammed in in a couple other spots in my garden as well, but I'm going to forget about that for now. Uh, if I got a bare patch of earth, I just stick whatever I've got going on in there, and, and, and I cut a couple places where you know things failed, the things didn't go right, so I planted beans there. You can always have lots of beans because you can can them, you can freeze them. Uh, you can really never have too much. Of course, this time of year we're eating them till they're coming out of our ears, but they're also, you know, really an ideal crop for for storage, for blanching, freezing, or whether you're going to can them. Uh, so. Let me just talk about the different types I planted. I've got uh, four kinds of beans in my garden. Uh, three of those are bush beans and one is a pole bean. I live in a relatively northern climate, uh, zone six, but that's Canadian zone, so Canadian zone six is, is colder than American zone six. <laughs> Why everybody just can't get together and agree on uh, the metrics they use to measure zones is a mystery to me, but uh, it does make things uh, complicated at times, but the zone doesn't really matter. It's the length of your growing season. I've got a short growing season here. Uh, you know, we were getting frost um, right up until the middle of June, or was it July? I think it was June. And um, sometimes we'll have falls where the frost starts in September. I mean, usually the frost starts in October, but you, you just never know what's going to happen around here. We're a maritime cl climate where I live, Nova Scotia. It's a peninsula. It juts out into the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, it's just sort of a crazy place. Uh, so you never know how long a growing season you're going to get. Uh, it always uh, pays to assume it's going to be short. <laughs> and if you've got a short uh, growing season, you, you, you tend to want to plant more bushy, compact varieties of things. So I've got three uh, varieties, uh, four varieties of beans growing. Actually, five. Five. Um, um, I've got uh, three of those are provided by my sponsor, Vessi Seeds. Uh, uh, Aldrin beans, that's a, a compact bushy variety. They make a nice uh, sort of shiny uh, green bean like this. Um, I've got, uh, what's it called, French Maxibel Filet, what's it called? Um, Maxibel French Filet. And they're uh, a little bit different. They're, they're longer, and but they're French, they're more elegant. Um, so here's the Aldrin bean, sort of a short, fat, shiny green bean, very pretty. And the Maxibel are sort of a longer, uh, less glossy, less dark. But I, I really, I, actually, I prefer these because you can sort of get more bean. You get more bean per bean, right? These come in really fast, um, but these come in almost as fast and you get a little bit more. Um, and I also have, uh, I didn't pick any here, but I, I planted, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ferrano, uh, Ferrano Romano flat beans, which is like a Romano style bean. They're, Again, it's not the kind of bean. All the beans I plant here are snap beans. I don't, I don't plant them to save the actual seed. I plant them to eat the whole bean. Uh, and I planted those first. So let me just take you around. Oh, and I also have the uh, rattlesnake pole beans. This, this tall thing behind here is a pole bean. These are my own seeds that I saved. Um, and they're just a uh, rattlesnake. They have this uh, interesting uh, appearance, right? Uh, kind of look like a snake. I don't know. I, I save the seeds every year and I uh, always seem to get a good crop. I don't plant a lot of pole beans, but I always plant some and I'll talk about that. So let me just take you to each of these different places and talk about why I did what I did and why it's working so well. All right, so here's the first beans I planted. I planted these very early in the season. We were still getting frost when I planted these 
and I put them in the ground and then I put uh, plastic over this and just weighted it down with some rocks. I didn't have any fancy dome or anything. That would work too, but uh, I was using my, I do have domes that I use in my garden uh, to get things started early, but uh, I just was using them in other places. Um, so I put these in the ground underneath a mulch and I put plastic over it. This is still producing. I'm still getting these. This is, they're a nice big fat bean. They're very tasty, very good to eat. Um, these are the first ones I got because I planted them a good two or three weeks earlier than all the other ones, right? Because you can't plant beans here until you're, you know there's no frost. If you're going to plant them where it's, it's marginal, there might be frost, you've got to plant them under plastic and, and sort of uh, tinker around a bit. But that's okay because you don't want all your beans coming in at once, especially when you're planting bush beans. Uh, they tend to grow and then they produce a ridiculous amount of beans in a short amount of time. So you can get overwhelmed and what am I going to do with all these beans, right? And the next thing you know you're calling your neighbors asking them to take, take all the beans that you grew. Um, so these are still producing. I'm still getting, you know, I could probably fill a bowl right now. But they're just about done. You can see the, the foliage is starting to get this sort of uh, ratty look. Like they're, they're done. And also the beans, like these ones look good. But uh, some of them are getting a funny shape, and uh, and so on and so forth. So they're, you know, this, the plants are just about done. They've done their work. I mean, and you couldn't find an easier thing to plant with beans. You just plug them in the ground, and they grow. Uh, as long as you get uh, regular rain, or you water them. So uh, these were the first ones I planted. These came in two or three weeks before everything else. And once these started slowing down, the other ones started to pick up. Here's the next garden I planted, and you can see there's climbing beans, but there's also bush beans on the ground. What I did was I planted uh, the beans on the ground, and then maybe a couple weeks later, I plugged the, uh, I, I built the trellis, and I stuck these uh, rattlesnake snake pole beans down the center. The reason I did it that way is because the, the bush beans come in first. If, if I only had one bed to plant beans in, this is how I'd do it. I'd plant the two kinds. The bush beans in the whole area, and then pole beans down the center with a trellis. These come in, uh, the bush beans come in first. These are uh, those uh, uh, aldrin beans, the shiny green ones. Uh, there's actually, actually this is in Maxi Bell, so I must have planted some of those in there too. Um, they come in first. And then the pole beans take longer. They take a longer growing season to grow. And you get a lot of beans out of a pole bean plant, right? You, you probably get more per, you know, per plant. You probably get more beans. But because our growing season, they take longer to grow. And uh, because our, our, our winter comes early here, you never know when the plant's going to be shut down. Oh. And it also is just nice to get beans earlier in the summer, right? You start getting beans in August here. Um, those uh, Romano beans, I started getting them in actually uh, late July. Um, but these started coming on in August, and now the pole beans, I tend to get the bulk of those in September, right? Um, that's just how it works here, in Zone A Canada. Uh, so yeah, this, this produces a bit of shade, but by the time this is really producing shade, these plants are starting to, uh, the bush beans are starting to be done. So it doesn't really matter. Also, if you're planting one type of pole bean, generally speaking, they'll stay true to type if you save your own seeds because the later beans that you're going to save here for seeds they would have flowered when all your bush beans were were done flowering right so there's a l less of a risk of uh, cross-pollination right so they send it I mean, I've been saving I bought these I don't know online for a couple bucks uh, three years ago I've been saving the seeds every year they have always stayed true to type because I only plant one type of pole bean and, uh, and they're, they're a snap bean, they're not the kind of bean you, you, you plant for the seeds, right? Um, I only plant one type, and I, uh, you know, I, I, I pick them, and sometime late in September I let a couple get big and fat so I can save the seeds, and it always seems to work out well because these other bush beans are pretty much done by then. So this was the second beans I planted. I planted these and these at the same time. But these took a lot longer to start producing. They're just starting to produce now. I just harvested my first rattlesnake beans today, whereas these, uh, Aldrin bush beans. I've been harvesting them for a few weeks now. Over here, uh, this is a garden where I normally have t t tulips growing here. And uh, I plant tulips inside my garden enclosure because it's, it's the only place you can plant them where they won't get eaten by deer and stuff like that. And they seem to just do well here. My wife likes them. That's <laughs> happy wife, happy li life, right? Um, anyway, once the tulips start looking pathetic and 
dead. Um, once they start dying, um, that's when it's time to plant the beans. As a general rule, when the flowers of your tulips start to, you know, not look good anymore, you're pretty much safe to plant beans, where I am anyway. It's a good rule of thumb. Once the, if you, it's good to have a few tulips in your garden, um, not necessarily as a pollinator, because the, the, they flower when you don't need pollinators, right? I mean, you really need pollination in your garden when uh, all of your sort of fruiting plants start growing, like, uh, by, by, by fruit I mean a plant that produces a flower, and the thing that comes out of the flower is the thing that you eat, right? Uh, in, uh, in June, uh, I don't really need pollinators here. I got nothing to pollinate. I just have greens in my garden and they don't need to be pollinated. Uh, much later, if you let your, be your, your greens grow and they go to seed, yeah, you might need pollinators then, but that's a lot later. And by then, you've got all kinds of flowering things in your garden. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Uh, when the uh, tulips were starting to look ratty, um, this is the last garden I planted. I, I jammed uh, all these uh, uh, Maxibill uh, French fillet beans in here. And nice garden, and this is full. And on, on any given day, every couple days, those bowls I showed you at the beginning of this video, uh, every two or three days, I can fill a bowl like this to the top from this little garden. Which I, you know, it's it's, it's not a circle, but let's just pretend it's a circle because it's an odd shape. But you know, let's say it's a circle that's about five feet in diameter, right? So uh, that sort of area. So that's the next one I planted. I'm getting. I haven't even picked these today. I gotta pick these. In addition to what I've just picked in those two bowls I showed you, I gotta pick these today too because they're all they're all ready to be picked, right? And they're a nice tasting bean as well. These are these are really nice. And it only took this garden here. I'd say it took less than five minutes to plant. I literally this is a mulch with seaweed, and I just jammed them in with my thumb. This, this was probably the fastest beaten garden I planted. I put no energy into it. I just stuck them in the ground and walked away. It was a day before we were gonna have a good rain, so literally the garden did all the work for me. I spent five minutes planting these. I didn't even weed the bed. I just left it the way it is. And, uh, you know, within a few weeks I had beans growing and now I've got, you know, all the beans coming out my ears. Here's a funny little space. Uh, I've got a, a garden bed here, one of my slightly raised gardens, I guess. It's maybe, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's on a slope, so it's, uh, I don't know, 16 inches high on this side, but only about six inches high on the other. Anyway, I planted these beans just in the walking path here. Right, let me move the camera a little bit so you can see. Right, I planted these just right in the wood chips of my walking path. Right, this stuff. I mean, there's soil underneath it, right? And I've been mulching this, uh, the walkways here with wood chips for about, I don't know, three or four years, maybe five, I, I can't remember exactly, but for multiple years. So the soil underneath these wood chips is starting to get good. I plant some things just in the walking paths every year to see how they do. Um, if you watch a lot of these Back to Eden videos, I'll talk about, oh, the, you know, just put the wood chips down and boom, you've got an amazing garden. Uh, in my experience, it takes a number of years for the soil to actually uh, develop. If you start out with a really poor soil underneath the wood chips, it'll take a number of years for that soil to become good soil, but it will happen. But it won't happen immediately if you've got poor soil. If you've got amazing soil and you put wood chips on it, you're going to have an amazing garden. Uh, anyway, so these are planted in the, in the, the walking paths, and these are just some um, uh, wax beans that I saved the seeds from last year. And I'm getting wax beans right now, right? And I, plant, I just planted a little bit of these because I like to make uh, uh, mustard beans, and they, they just look nicer when the beans are yellow because the mustard's yellow. Um, I'm the only person in the house that eats those, so like one jar or two jars of that. Uh, mustard beans is about all I want to eat a year because I got other things to eat. <laughs> when you're eating all of it, it lasts a little while. Um, so uh, you know, one of these years my kids will develop a taste for that sort of thing. Um, so anyway, these are coming in great and these took no work either. I literally just had some spare beans and just stuck them in the ground and they grew on their own and took care of themselves. No fertilization, no watering, no nothing, doing great. Over here I have a patch of ground. Um, I sowed a whole bunch of uh, carrots here. Uh, in spring and for whatever reason they all just disappeared. I don't know if a little bunny rabbit, sometimes I got a fence around my garden and it's got about a, a two inch by three inch mesh and sometimes little baby bunnies find their way in here and uh, when you've got tiny little seedlings they can do a, seedlings, uh, they can do a lot of damage in a very, in one evening they can eat everything right because you're just, you're just eating little one inch high shoots and um, they also could have been slugs. I'm not exactly sure what happened but Right here, all the carrots just disappeared, 
and there really wasn't enough time to grow a good crop of carrots in my opinion because it was you know July early July or late late June I can't remember now so I just I had lots of extra bean seeds so I just stuck them in the ground and I've got beans coming in now right so this just actually these ones they need to be picked these might actually be the provider variety because they're ones I've saved every year uh, I got I bought a bag of seeds called provider it's a, a variety of bean seed 10 12 years ago I plant some every year they always produce well and you save the seeds and they, for some reason they seem to stay true to type even though I've got all kinds of other beans going on here um, that's just me being lucky I mean if you've got different things flowering uh, of the same species or whatever you're going to get cross-pollination but I've been lucky um, and if they do cross-pollinate maybe you get some magical new variety that's exciting or you get the worst bean in the world you never know what you're going to get when things cross-pollinate uh, anyway these are growing great and they these ones are these are actually yellow beans um, but they're doing they're doing fine and I've, I've put no energy into this all I just stuck them in the ground some of these are pole beans I can see them climbing up the up the fence and some of them are bush beans they were just I literally had a pile of bean seeds in the bottom of the thing I keep my seeds in I just stuck them in the ground to see what would happen and of course I got lots of beans anyway I just thought I'd take you through and, and I mean it's not much use to anyone this time of year unless you're in like you know on the other side of the equator and uh, <laughs> it's spring but here it's fall so you know these are the sorts of things I find fall is an ideal time to think about next year and what you're gonna do and that sort of thing so you know and I just because everything's growing right now I, I, to, I thought I would share that uh, strategy for growing beans I find for very little work and not not too much space you can get a lot of them if you you know plant it that way and you you use them uh, strategically certain amount of bush beans certain amount of pole beans pole beans planting the bush beans uh, almost like in succession you know you plant one one set early under plastic so they come in a bit early and you plant another set of beans uh, as soon as it's safe to plant beans as soon as there's no more risk of frost if bean seeds get wet and then they get cold they usually just die and then a couple weeks after that you plant another bush bean and also plant some pole beans because they are climbing beans because they take longer and by doing that you'll get steady beans uh, all the beans you can handle and you'll be struggling to keep up with it uh, all summer long and into October the, these uh, pole beans will be giving me beans right up until the big freeze right <laughs> right until we start getting frost which just kills kills all the beans and of course wherever you've planted your beans because beans are legume and nitrogen fixing they actually help the soil where you've planted them so it's a good place to plant a garden where maybe you didn't get very good results the previous year or a garden that maybe the previous year you had a heavy feeder a squash or a corn or something that uses up a lot of nutrients from the soil the beans will sort of help um, almost like a fertilizer help that soil recover from the heavy feed of the previous year and they're really easy to grow so you know if you're uh, uh, a novice or a new gardener or that sort of thing uh, it's a great thing to put in the ground so you can look like you're some sort of a green thumb type person because uh, it doesn't matter who you are if you plant beans they're probably going to work out well even if you've got a lousy soil they seem to they don't seem to mind a lousy soil so it's a great crop to grow all right so that's just some ideas about beans and how to get the most out of your space and the most out of your time for planting them and different varieties to consider uh, I hope you found that uh, useful, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.